So I don't want to become one of those YouTubers who overanalyze it. Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Rimuzu here. So recently, Makoto Shinkai has given two new updates on his latest movie, Suzume no Tojimari. So he gave us two sort of new updates with it. One in the form of an updated key visual, and another which is a teaser trailer kind of, like an MV. So first let's talk about the key visual. So it is the same key visual as in the first video. It is a sort of, it's the door in sort of an apocalyptic background and it is finally the release of the main character Suzume standing in front holding what seems to be a stool or, or a chair, like a small chair of what it looks like. So first of all, well, you know, it looks gorgeous, alright? The main character, once again, first of all, first impressions, waifu material, alright? I'm just I'm, I'm gonna be honest with that, alright? Waifu material. I do actually have one problem with this key visual. And the problem I have with this is that she looks very tall. If you look at my height compared to hers, like in the thumbnail, you would see that she kind of looks like my height, but tall. She looks kind of tall. All right, now we got a problem here. Now you know I'm saying that's just not gonna work out. But this is uh, this is definitely a big critic on uh, my part. Now let's say that she isn't taller than me. Uh, I claim her as my wife. So, anyways, next off, I mean, now I've I've done the research. I've done I've done the analysis. All right, I've done the analysis. All my sources, I, it's from various various sources where you can't really get it from anywhere it's makoto shinkai's twitter so as you can see in this tweet right here two cats right like a black and white stripish kind of cats now if we press translate it says in april the cats suzume and tsubame suzume is his cat's name now hear me out hear me out there's some might there's might there might be some correlation going on here the sparrows in the movie, oh, oh, it basically confirms it. The teaser trailer. Now, the teaser trailer, we have a lot to uncover here. If you haven't watched the teaser trailer before this video, I highly recommend you watch it, link in the description below. In the teaser trailer, just a classic uh, Makoto Shinkai, a lot of gorgeous backgrounds, a lot of well-animated scenes. So first of all, we can also look at the fact that in the teaser trailer, there's a lot less Nichijou Sekatsu, which is everyday life it is more it's more fantasy it's more like oh dramatic situation situation happening 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 it is a lot more that rather than the nichijou sekatsu we have seen in uh Tenki no Ko and kimi no Nawa, especially kimi no Nawa. uh it's more mostly it is literally mostly based around the fact that oh there's an apocalypse coming or like oh something's happening it's a dire situation dire situation and it's like door locking door locking Stuff like that. Also, Makoto Shinkai water physics. And a lot of the scenes also revolve around like the chair that she's got, like, like the scenes where all of the chairs are, you know what I'm saying? All right, there are like, there are two actions here. There's one which is the like, oh, there's a door, needs to be locked, right? But then there's also the stool. Now, the stool, like we've talked about, in many scenes. Now, I'm not sure what it is, but the stool, that shit's more mysterious, that shit's more interesting. I don't know. It should be like Suzume's stool or something, uh, Suzume's chair, small chair or something. Now, I don't know if that chair has something to do. I've been looking through Makoto Shinkai's Twitter, all right? I'm not sure. The chair, it, it, it could mean it's a big plot point. It, a lot of people are missing out on it. Everyone's focusing on the door locking aspect. I think the chair is where it's at. Let me tell you boys, that's, there's some big things going on with that chair. Let me tell I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm... In the past movies, it has leaned more into superstition and traditional supernatural superstition. But now it's leaning more towards fantasy instead of like folklore. It is more, yeah, it is more fantasy and supernatural rather than folklore because in the first two movies uh, in Kimi no Nawa and Tenki no Ko it is more folklore which I find is a interesting change for Makoto Shinkai's works though just because it's changed doesn't mean it's bad so I am looking forward to the movie itself all in all it's really a movie that just incites mystery there's not much answers to it and it's mostly just it's mostly just speculation we're just gonna have to watch the movie we're just gonna have to watch the movie boys it's gonna be coming out it's gonna be releasing uh at november 
11th. You guys should look forward to it. Drop a like if you enjoyed this over analysis video. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hair is going to be the selling point. It's the main point, guys. I'm not crazy. I'm not...